How's it going guys? Welcome to Richard and Alice. It's snowing again? Oh man. What's wrong with that, son? That last lot's barely melted yet. I'm fed up with the snow. Every time it's the same. It's cold, it's wet, and everything comes up to a standstill. It just makes me feel miserable, Dad. Rich, listen to me. Remember what I always used to say? Oh, Dad, not now. <laughs> Alright, but, you know. Dad, come on. Hmm. What's really the problem, son? You used to love the snow. I was a kid back then. I guess I've just grown up. It doesn't feel magical anymore. Pfft, what nonsense. It still feels magical to me. And I'm twice your age. Three times, Dad. Maybe even four. <laughs> that the cheek. <laughs> I was reading that check. You don't want to grow up too quickly, son. Trust me. One day time will come when you have no choice but to grow up and you'll miss days like this. The magic, the snow, snowmen. Go enjoy it, I say. Dad. Yup. You can't be you can be a right sap sometimes. Ha, perhaps. These are obviously British people. <laughs> But okay, the snow is great fun. I cannot wait to build a snowman. Happy now? <laughs> Very. And don't think I can see that smirk on your face too, mister. Now go on. Give your friends a call. Go out and play. It's snowing. That's back when they liked the snow. Yep. <laughs> Polar's territory. Owl Cave presents a game by Louis Den Denby. Den oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, other person. Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives a fascinating creature. Uh. It's brown throated sloth, the most widespread and common of the three toad sloths in this area. Or in the area. The sloth sleeps for an incredible 18 hours per day and is active only a few second bursts. Well, that didn't make any sense. It's not active at all anymore. Oh, shit. Although they can walk along the ground and even swim, they spend most of their lives in the high branches of trees. Descending once every eight days or so to defeat... To, de to defeat... Or so to defecate in their soil. In the, in the soil. Gross. That's all they ever show here. Reruns of ancient nature documentaries. It's a very different world on the outside now. Oh well. We're not here to be entertained. Adult animals are solitary, except when raising young. They do not deal well with company. Males have been observed to, f to fight one another using their foreclaws. Okay. Huh? Was that someone in the, op the cell opposite? It's been empty for, well, for as long as I've been here. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Richard and Alice. I'm excited about this one. This one seems cool. Hi there. It's been a while since I've seen another face. How are you? I mean, not great, I assume, since you just... I I'm Richard, anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello? Hi. I, I said I'm rich. I, I heard what you said. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I mean, I, I thought I'd say hello. I, I know I wanted some company when I first got here, but... Do you want to be left alone? No, sorry. It's okay. Well, like I said, I'm Richard. And you are? Alice. Of course. Alice. Pleased to meet you, Alice. It's been so loud. Um, quite the convers- Whoa. <laughs> quite the conversationalist, huh? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've spoken to anyone, really. I'll let you get settled, anyway. No, honestly, it's fine. Sorry, I, I guess I'm just a bit flustered. That's understandable. So, what did you want to talk about? I'm not sure. What's the protocol for meeting new people in prison? 
I'm not, I'm not used to there being anyone in that cell. The ceiling collapsed. They only got around to fixing it recently. Should we get to know each other? Oh, I get to pick who I want to be. How does this work? Do I do it? Oh, you do it like that. I guess I'll just start with Richard. So, do you want to know about me? Well, sure, whatever. Well, I'm Richard, as you know, and uh, oh gosh, what do you want to know? Whatever. Right. Where to start? Where to start? Well, I was in the military, actually. That's why I'm here. I'm sorry, I gotta fix this. It's way too loud for me. <laughs> Holy bejesus. It's a little back, I think. Actually, that's why I'm here. I broke some rules, shall we say. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I stand by what I did. Those men were petrified. They were heading for certain death. I couldn't bring myself to be, well, anyway. You've been here a while, then. Organized warfare, war warfares, warfares, and things, things of the past. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. All the von, all the violence that the weather brought with it, more needless wars. These days, it's just chaos, or so I hear. I just don't believe it's, it needed to happen. Sure, no one dealt with the weather well. I understand that, and I understand that deaths were inevitable, but. So much fighting? I don't know. So, what are you in for? Murder? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, are you, uh, serious? Yeah. Well, it's what they say. And did you do it? If I told you yes, would you be scared of me? I... I'm not... Relax, there's two sets of bars between us. Ooh. <laughs> Put it this way, I've learned some things recently. Oh? Yeah, about moral, moral, whoa, rel <laughs> yeah, about moral relativity, I suppose you'd call it. How do you mean? Well, since the snow started, things have changed, right? Definitely, there's no denying that. They didn't predict it soon enough. No one was able to bring it under control. It took over, dominated our lives. It changed people, but only because they were forced to adapt. So what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm saying is I used to think killing was wrong under all circumstances, but now? Now I'm not sure what I think anymore. I think being a parent has settled my views on that. Um... Sorry, sorry, I just... Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, go on. Well, that was it, really. I don't know. I'd do anything to protect my daughter. Have you, have you got kids? Little boy. Barney. That's a nice name. I bet you miss him. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Getting used to being away from your family is the hardest part. I keep a, I keep a photo of mine in my bed. I stare at it every night until I fall asleep. Can I see? Sure, I'll, I'll find a way of getting it across to you. Bear with me. Okay. Family photograph. My gorgeous family, I'll take this. This is what I have to give to her, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. No. How would I get it across? Oh, I don't know. The hell? How if I know? Let's see, clean clothes, dirty clothes. I should check these trouser pockets actually, in case something unwanted goes through the wash. Okay. Well, what do you know? Is it something I can use? My computer. Oh. Well, that's useful, but not right now. But I need to give her the picture, and I don't know how.
another sheet. I guess you could tie the... Uh, no, oh wait, no. There we go, fine. Eh. Well, I'm trying here, bro. <laughs> I'm trying. Alright, maybe I can, like, log in. Ask for something or some shit. Now then, I'll just slot this in here and... Yep. We're in. Let's see, a few notifications here. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. Alright, this isn't what I need, I don't think, right now. I don't understand. Can I, like, just show it to her? I don't understand. It might break. Oh, it's, like, in a thing. Oh, it's stuck in the corner. Oh, balls. Balls, balls. I guess maybe I just have to look at the computer. Let's have a look again. Alarm test next Tuesday. Attention all inmates. Please note that there will be a test of the prison alarm systems this coming Tuesday. The alarm will sound for approximately one minute. Please do not attempt to leave your cell and do not submit a ticket to the guards unless the alarm sound continues. Well, let's hope it's not some ludicrous hour in the morning. Not the time. Not that time means too much down here. Not that. That was weird. It <laughs> was a weird line. I don't know what that meant. Okay. Um. Uh, busting instruments sale. I, I just want to know how to get the picture over to her. Is there something in the pillow? No, no, no. Take it to pillow. He doesn't want anything from the goddamn cabinet. I can use this to get to. Well, I can do to get to. I can use this to get to the photo. Get the photo across. But I should push it out into the corridor first. Hey, hey, I'm a genius. Look at that shit. <laughs> These point and click games always drive me insane. I love them, but all right, let's try this. Grab the sheet at your side. Pull the end into your cell. I feel like there is no bother. Can't she see it? Can't she just see it, like, from there? I mean, whatever. No, just do, do this. Oh. I'll put it on the sheet, then you'll slowly inch it across. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. la di da Got it. Let's see. This photo. Wow. Your partner is beautiful. And your daughter, so adorable. That was taken a while ago now, obviously. Things had started to get bad, but, well, we were together. We were happy, you know? Yeah. She seems so sad. Don't get me wrong, we had our ups and downs as a family. I suppose that's always the way, though. My wife and I were separated now. It happened shortly before I came here. We parted in, on okay terms, but I have no idea where she is now, or even if she is, I suppose. A lot's changed, but some things stay the same. Families feud, but they come together when the going gets tough. They always seem to have a way of doing that. That's my experience, anyway. It's. Oh, hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Sorry, I'm just being stupid. It's not stupid. This is a stressful time for you. I'm sorry for talking so much. No, no, it's it's not that. It, it's nice. I just... Looking at your daughter... Ah, uh, your son. Yeah. But he's safe, right? On the outside? We went through so much together before I ended up in this fucking place. It still seems so unreal. Wanna talk about it? 
Oh, I don't know. It's fine if you don't, it's just, well... I I've done enough talking, I'm happy to lend an ear. You're sweet. I, I don't know, it's blurry. It, it was a long time ago. For once, things looked to be on the up. I was so stupid. I let myself believe we might be in for some good fortune for a change. What happened? We met this guy a bit older, maybe mid-fifties. He seemed nice enough. We'd been out in the cold for days after our shelter got ransacked, and... Looking back, it was too good to be true. But we were so desperate. Barney and me. This guy... Is he the one that you... That you know? No, no, not him. I fucking wish. So what happened? Well, he took us in. At first, he was nice. Gave us food, water, shelter. But then one day it changed. He, he said he had something to show me. Told me to close my eyes. I wish I never had. Next thing I knew, we were in a cellar. The whole place was covered in dust and my head was killing me. Barney was crying. I still don't remember exactly what happened. But we were there for days. It was awful. I didn't know what to do. Barney was being his usual trippy self, <laughs> quickly enough. <laughs> sounds like you got a good, well, sounds like a good kid you've got. So what happened? Well, uh, you don't need to know about all this. What are you, my therapist? I don't mind, honestly. If nothing else, it's good to hear another voice. Well, if you're sure. Ah! Ah! Ah, my God. We'd been trapped for a while, and one day I just knew we had to get out. Right then and there. Or there and then. Yeah. <laughs> la 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 la. Well, look at that kid. Oh my god. All right. Marching along. Starving kid. La la la. Tra la la. Barney. <laughs> Barney, little shit. <laughs> la la la. La 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 la. Do do do. La la la. Tra la la la. Barney, what are you doing? Singing. <laughs> I can hear that, Barney, sweetheart. Can you give it a rest, please? You little shit. We're gonna get us killed. La la la, tra la la la. Barney, you need to stop singing now, please. Join in, mummy! <laughs> Sing the tra la la song. Barney, I really need you to stop now, please. You're. La la la. Barney! Ma, mummy, I was just playing. That's always it, isn't it? You're always just bloody playing. Mummy, you said a bad word. I know, Barney, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mummy? <laughs> yes, sweetheart? Are you, are you, are you cross with me? <laughs> oh no, sweetheart, it's just, it, it doesn't matter. Hey, I know a good game to play. Remember the game where we have to be really quiet? Oh, yes! <laughs> Do you remember that one? Do you remember why we have to be quiet? Oh, the bad men will come! Exactly! That's fun, right? Well, I think now's the time we play that game. Yay! Barney, be qu- Oh, fuck. Barney, be really quiet for me, okay? What the hell is all that rocket? It's it's nothing, sorry. Don't make me come in there! I will, you know! <laughs> My menacing ass voice. I know, it's alright, I promise. You need to learn to shut him up! I'm old! Come on, he's, ju he's just a kid. Hey! I'm five and a half! Barney, shh! Ha! Oh, isn't that adorable? Or, oh shit, I didn't read it, sorry. No, no, honestly, we're fine. He was he was just playing. He'll be quiet. We, we don't we won't disturb you anymore. Motherfucker, come on, kid. 
See to it that you don't, because I am a fucking douchebag. <laughs> God, why is he keep like why is he keeping them? I don't I don't get it. Maybe he wants to eat them? Did I make the bad men come? Oh Barney, it's okay. It isn't your fault. This is just bullshit. <laughs> like seriously, Barney. What's happening? Oh. I realized I did that, sorry. <laughs> this game isn't fun anymore. Hell yeah, it isn't. I know, sweetheart, I know. Don't worry. We won't have to play for much longer, I promise. Tell you what, let's find something to play with, shall we? Shall we have a look in the big box? Okay. Can I get the key? Sure. Dude, that totally sucks. That sucks so much. Having to be stuck in this fucking goddamn room. Bull. Bull. Here you go, mommy. Thank, thank you, Barney. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Right here, right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like or do whatever fucking YouTube shit that people do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.